please hit subscribe and change it to past tense. Hi Speechies, it's Lisa. Welcome back to Speech Fairies. I've pulled out all my cow books to decide which ones I'm going to keep. Um, I often work on the k sound, which is the K or C alphabet letter, and I like to use books in all my sessions, so I thought I'd look at my cow books and see what I have. I think by far my favorite is the Moo Cow Kung Fu Cow, which I'll show you in a bit. I also like the cows are in the corn, it's good for the k sound. I also have the cow that went oink, which also you could work on the k at the end of words as well. Cow takes a bow. I love Adventures of Cow. I think this is Adventures of Cow 2, so I'll have to look to see if I can find Adventures of Cow, the first one. Hilarious. And then we have Cows in the Kitchen as well. So let's have a look at these. I'm feeling like this one's going to get cut. Today the circus is in town. Hooray! Brown cow sets out to track it down. This is why I have a hard time getting rid of books because it already rhymes and I love that. I'll take a seat please, says brown cow. The tent is full. There's no room now. Here comes the boss. Cow sees him frown. Our clown's not here. He's let me down. I'll help, said cow. Just show me how. No time, boss cries. You're on now. So her tricycle spins around, her trumpet makes a silly sound, her juggling balls hit the ground, and her pants fall down. Am I the biggest fool in town? But that's okay, I think. She's wearing a frown. I'm sorry I messed up, Howl's Cow. No, wait, Boss shouts, don't go now. The crowd shouts, wow, and Cow takes a bow. So I kind of like that one, that's cute. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to keep that one. This one is the cow that went oink. The ones was a cow that went oink. The cows that went moo laughed at the cow that went oink. And I love how they say moo ha. And the animal, other animals laugh too. Bow wow ha, meow ha, hee ha ha, nay ha. Nanny ha, ba ha, sweet ha. Gobble ha, cock a doodle doo ha. Tweet ha, quack ha, quack ha. Cheap ha, oink, ribbit ha. That's hilarious. The cow went oink and was very sad. One day she heard a friendly moo. It was a pig! Wow, this is good for teaching about speech bubbles too. And they all teased, of course. They had an idea they could teach each other how to say their sounds properly, which is really cute, kind of speechy. And looks like they had a hard time. And the animals are still laughing. Oh no. I kind of like this one just for some. Oh, they taught each other to do they could do a moo and an oink, so that's awesome. The best of friends. I like that one too, just for some of that kind of speech awareness stuff. Not doing very well. Um, the cows are in the corn. Let's see. I like these early readers. Brother woke up. Began to shout. The cows are in the corn and they won't come out. Brother told sister and she began to shout. The pigs are in the figs and they won't come out. That's a good one for come out. It repeats itself, so I like that one too. Not getting rid of any very well. Um, cows in the kitchen. Nice big, big book for circle time. Cows in the kitchen, moo, moo, moo. Cows in the kitchen, moo, moo, moo. Cows in the kitchen, moo, moo, moo. That's what we do, Tom Farmer. Oh boy, there's lots of good vealers in here. Ducks in the dishes, quack, quack, quack. That's what we do, Tom Farmer. So it must be like a game, uh, it must be like a song or something that they've made into a book. Pigs in the pantry, 
pins in the hat stand. Cluck, cluck, cluck. So there's still lots of velars. Oh, it's got a little rip in it. Sheep on the sofa. Uh, farmer in the haystacks. Zzz, zzz, time to wake up, Tom Farmer. This is a bit rough shape, so maybe I'll let this one go. It's cute though. I like the illustrations. They've got like little pointy noses. And lots of repetition too. Push the door. Shh, shh, shh. Creep down the hall. Shh, shh, shh. Maybe I'll use this one for the shh sound. Uh, this is what we do, Tom Farmer. So maybe I'll have to look for a copy of that that's not damaged. Okay, second last favorite, probably for Veelers, this one, The Adventures of Cow 2. This one's hilarious. One day, Cow woke up to an exciting new adventure. There he is. <laughs> there you go. I've chipped my nose. Will you go to the grocery store for me, Mom said. Oh, that's a hippo. <laughs> cow jumped for joy. Look, the cow is jumping. Not. Cow took the train to the store, which is clearly a school bus. Here we go. Cow's got the cart. Shopping for carrots. And he's calling things the wrong name. So green beans, bananas. Now, where are those oranges? He's sitting right on top of them. Here they are. <laughs> Look for the very best apples so Ma could bake a pie. Gosh, these grapes are heavy. Excuse me, ladies, where can I find the mayonnaise? Cow wondered what a frog was doing in a jar of mayo. <laughs> cow almost forgot the ice cream. I'll get two. Happy Cow smiled and said, Peas. Clock said 179. It's time to go. Paper or plastic, said the nice grocery store lady. I'm plastic, thank you, said Cow. Cow's dad was waiting at the door. Hi, Pop. It's clearly a penguin. Good job, <laughs> said Aunt Ernie. You deserve some ice cream. Those are peas. So it's funny to see if kids actually notice some of the, the clicking and clunking that's happening in this book. So, but it has um, cow and he's on a misadventure. So, cow is squishy. Oh, cow is squishy. He lives in Harlem. Cow is now the author of two books in the Tricycle Press. So, I have to look for the other one. I'll be keeping an eye out for the other cow book. And then, this is the my favorite one of all time. Mu Cao Kung Fu Cao by Nick Sherratt, one of my favorite authors. Oh, there's a pumpkin in there. There we go. So we have Mu Cao Kung Fu Cao, High Heel Cow, Worried Green and Blue Cow, <gasps> Needed the Loo Cow, <gasps> Paddle the Canoe Cow, Off to Timbuktu Cow. Lots of words that repeat. Glitter cow, ah, chew cow, got sick cow, kangaroo cow, tattoo cow, shampoo cow, peekaboo cow. He's hiding back there, but that's okay. We can kind of make a peek out. Last in the queue cow. One scoop, or, one scoop or two, cow. What's all that hullabaloo, cow? Bang, bang, let us in. Happy birthday, cow. The end. This one was first published in 2009, UK. So this one I picked up on off price store for $4.99, but that was well worth it. Even if that one little cow didn't work, that's okay. I can still work on my healers. So that's it for my cow books, I think. I think the one I might get rid of is this cow's in the kitchen, um, only because it's ripped and it's not all about cows. It's kind of could go with all the other farm animals, but not just cows. So I'll be putting that one with other farm animals because, but it's still good for healers. It's got um, the K and the K sound in different positions, which is nice. 
So that's it for today. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave me a comment, hit, find us on Instagram at speech fairies, all one word. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you very soon. Bye for now everyone.